Now we have gone through the basics of cross section, drag and drop method and tribal, it might be time to go a little deeper into manage these tools. I thought we should make a Stirling engine and uh, Stirling engine is a fantastic invention and if you want more information about it uh, you will find a lot of it on the internet, how it works and so on, if you are interested. But now we will start a new 3D scene. In this video and this engine tutorial I will use uh, this camera preset top front left and that's because it's easier for me to show you how to do this engine and you will also see at the coordinate system to the left in what direction the camera is pointing and if you also use that uh, preset we will start modeling our engine. To begin with we, we left drag a block into the scene and drop it there and then we click on the part so that we are in IntelliShape mode and uh, then we, we right click on this handle we click on edit size box and the highlighted value is the same as the selected uh, selected handle we change the value to 50 millimeters so the width also 50 millimeters so it will be a cube of 50 millimeters and this will be the basis of the crankcase and then we will drag a cylinder we we'll right drag press the right mouse button drag the cylinder and we will drop it on this face on the green dot and release the button and we'll left click on drop as part the next step we will left drag a cylinder left drag and we will drop it in the center of this face on the green dot and this cylinder will be a part of the crankcase we will double click on this handle diameter handle and we will change the value to 12 millimeters and we click OK like that and then we will rotate the camera so we see this side of the of the engine and then we will right drag a block and we will drop it on this face there and then we we'll click left click on drop as part and we we'll click on it into so that we are in IntelliShape mode we double click on this handle and we'll change the thickness to 3 millimeters. Then we will left drag uh, to adjust the width a little bit. We deselect and we click on the part in the, to the part mode. And then we will turn on the tribal and we left drag this handle to place the part just about there. Uh, this will be this part will become a bearing bracket eventually. And we turn off the tribal and we click on the part so that we are in IntelliShape mode and then we left drag this handle we will change the length of this part and the length is uh, well it's okay for now and then we deselect the part and we right drag a cylinder right drag and we drop it on the face there and we click on drop as part and we we'll click on the part so that we are in tail shape mode and we will left drag this handle to change the diameter and the thickness so and we will put in the right measure later something like that and then we will right drag another cylinder and we'll drop it in the center of this cylinder drop its part this will be a flywheel eventually and we change the thickness so and we rotate the camera to this side and then we right drag a cylinder we drop it on the face right there click on drop as part and then we go to IntelliShape mode change the diameter a little bit like so and then we change the thickness so and this will be a crank disk eventually so okay now we will turn the rotate the camera in this direction and we'll right drag a box into the center of the this face on the green dot drop as part and this will be a cover eventually we go to IntelliShape mode and we grab this handle left drag and press the shift key to snap to this face release the mouse button and we continue in uh, in IntelliShape mode and we left drag uh, this handle 
and press the shift key to snap to this edge and this edge and like that and turn around and we will do the same on this side shift key and snap to this face like that and the same on this side at the bottom snap to that face and then we will adjust the thickness double click on this handle and we adjust change the value to 4 click OK and now we have a, a beginning of our engine and I think it's time to save our parts so we click on the button save as and you can also go to menu button and file and save as if you want and we will store the file on the right place on your hard drive so we will look for right place we will click on computer and the C drive and we will look for let's see now we will look for my documents in this video and the whole DVD Iron Cad Essentials you will see a lot of Swedish names but I will tell you the name in English so you can use the English name if, if you want or you can use the Swedish name or you can also use the name in your own language what's important is that you name parts during the tutorial and here in my documents we will make a new folder we right click and we click the new folder and we name the folder pupil and press enter double click on the folder and file name we type sterling engine like that and click on save so well the file is saved as you can see there sterling engine so I will go to my camera position fit scene we will now make some adjustments on the cylinder that's uh, it's uh, on the top of the crankcase that one I will zoom in a bit so we can see it better we go to IntelliShape mode left click and we right click on this handle and we will see a pop-up menu we change snap increments we click on that button and in this menu we, we will change the value to 2 millimeters and this means that if you press the control key and grab this handle and left drag you, uh, the measure will jump in steps of uh, 2 millimeters so you click on OK and we press the control key left drag this handle and you see it jumps in step of steps of 2 millimeters and we go to 64 millimeter and release the mouse button and then we double click on this handle and we will change the value to 4 millimeters click on OK and we have made the bottom of the of the cylinder now there will also be a few uh, cooling flanges so we will left drag a cylinder we drop it on the green dot in the center of this cylinder and um, we uh, then double click on the height handle and we change the value to 3 click OK we double click on this handle and we change the value to 50 and now when we are in IntelliShape mode we uh, turn on the tri ball and then we right drag this handle and we drop it there and we click on move and we change the value to a 6 and now when the uh, tri ball is activated we right drag this handle and we drop it there and we click on copy we type in three cop number three copies and six millimeter in the distance and uh, then we turn off the tri ball and then we need some uh, material in the middle so we get a whole cylinder so we have to drag left drag a cylinder from our catalog we drop it in the center on top of, of uh, this cylinder and then we left drag this handle press the shift key to snap to this surface or to this face the same with this handle left drag shift key and snap to that face and then we'll look at the diameter 40 millimeters that's okay that's a default value when you drop a cylinder in the scene 
now we have come a little bit further with uh, our work with the engine. Well, we need a hole in the cylinder, so we left drag each cylinder to remove the material, drop it in the center, and we double click on the diameter handle, we type in 29, click OK, then we left drag this handle and press the shift key to snap to this edge and we have a hole through the cylinder like that and then we uh, will select the cover and then we'll also right click on the cover and we will choose hide, hide selected uh, there are two ways to hide parts in the scene we can click on hide selected and we have also suppress and you use suppress when you will hide parts permanently and and you can use hide when you will hide parts uh, more temporarily so in our case we will click on hide and now we see the crankcase and we also hide the cylinder where we could shift select them both but um, well I missed that well we, we select the cylinder right click and then we click on hide selected and now we will make a hole in, uh, in this crankcase so we left drag an H cylinder and we drop it in the center on the green dot and then we double click on the diameter handle change to 38 click OK double click on the height handle and type in 5 millimeters click OK and we deselect and we left drag an H cylinder drop it in the hole in the center of the hole and we double click on the diameter handle type in 31 click OK double click on the height handle and we type in 38 and deselect so like that and we will also make a hole on top of the the crankcase we left drag an H cylinder drop it in the center like that and so we double click on the diameter handle change it to 29 and we got a hole but it's through the part we have to change that we rotate the camera in this direction left drag this handle and press the shift key and we will snap to the center of this hole you see the green dot drop it there then we have a, a hole perfectly matched to, to that hole we deselect and we rotate the camera uh, because we want to make a hole in the crankcase from this side we drag a H cylinder drop it in the center and this will uh, will be a hole for a piston rod later drop it there double click on the diameter handle change it to 8 millimeter okay and we also left drag the height handle shift key and snap to this surface our face now we've got a hole through the part we will also make a blend on this edge so we will select this uh, command blend edges and we will change the value to 10 millimeters radius 10 millimeters and we select the edge like that so and we see the preview and we click OK so we have made a blend Mm, so, well, if you look in the scene browser, you see that uh, there are two parts that are hidden. And if we right click in the scene, and we can choose show all, so you can see the parts again that were hidden. And we will make a hole in this cover. We click on it so that we are in IntelliShape mode. And there are several ways to make holes you can use an eight cylinder drop it on the face and you can also use uh, the extrude command but there are another way too you can right click on the part on the intellishape in the intellishape mode and click on edit cross section we will also see the crankhouse so we have to do some changes to in the properties browser we click on hide edited part now we see only the edges of the cover and we see the, the hole in the crankhouse. So we will use this command project 
that one and uh, then we will project that edge to the cross section and then we press escape let's zoom in a bit and this hole you see it's 19 it's too big we will change it a little bit it will be a little bit smaller than 7, 19 so we type in 17 and then we click on finish and we have made a hole in the cover so we will also make holes in the corners of the cover four corners and we left drag an eight cylinder drop it on this this face double click on the diameter handle change to four click ok we also change the length the, de the depth of the hole left drag shift key and snap to this edge now the hole is exactly through the cover when the hole is selected in the IntelliShape mode we turn on the try ball and we right click on this handle and from the pop-up menu we click on to center point on that edge and then we right drag in this handle in this direction and we drop it there I click on move we type in 20 millimeters in both distance click OK and the hole is in place now we need holes in the other corners too so we we will do like this we will detach the tri ball by pressing the space bar it turns right we right click on this handle as to center point a center point of this edge and we press the space bar to attach it to attach the tri ball we select this axis and right drag inside the tri ball and we release the mouse button click link here and the copies three and angle 90 click OK so we have our four holes so I go to my starting point now when we have done a lot of work it's time to save we click on save 